billing logistics. When it comes to billing, you really want to keep it as simple as possible because you're going to have a wide spectrum of clients all paying you for different services here and there. Some will be paying for leads up front. Some will be paying for leads every 30 days. Some will be paying you for SEO services. So, and then you'll be paying your sales rep. It could get confusing. So you really want to use any, I'm not going to say you have to pick one or the other, but there's a QuickBooks online. There's an online QuickBook that you can use where you can brand it with your company name. It's all online no matter what computer you're on. And you can just set up accounts. You can say, okay, ABC Mortgage Company is here. This is one account. You can see that you spent X amount. They spent X. They got X amount of calls. You know, take your data from your uh, your call late reports and your your hosted numbers reports, and you can just go ahead and see like, okay, they owe this amount. Print the invoice. Send the invoices out if you want to. Set up with your PayPal. Set up with your your, your two checkout and do your billing through email. You can send a link from if you have a Google checkout account. You can send a link with the pay with the PayPal with the Google checkout link uh, payment link in it, and just have them click to pay that invoice. If you require them to pay up front, this is something that you're going to have to figure out on your own as far as what works best for you and your company, your company structure. You know, if you have partners involved, things get, you know, you have to kind of work that out. But once you get past that first month, you'll get a good feeling for how your billing should go. Number one, you, the one thing you do want to figure out is how you're going to, what kind of terms you're going to offer. You know, a lot of these companies, if you work with them initially, I would say keep them on a weekly billing cycle. So bill them weekly. That way you make sure you get your money because... What you'll find is that with certain companies, if you wait till the end of the month, let's say you, you've generated a whopping 200 leads for them, and they've already made their money off of those 200 leads, and they've been, they agree to, to, let's say, $30 a lead, it's going to be kind of hard for them to kick out the $6,000 they owe you. And it's not hard, but it, you know, mentally, if you would have gotten that money uh, week by week by week, it would have been easier for them to swallow. Now, and actually, they'll be foolish not to pay you. Because the following month, they will want to continue getting the same amount of lead volume. They will want to get that same business. So if you, if you make sure you bill them weekly, and then you can graduate to net 30, you know, bill them every 30 days if you're, if you're comfortable and you have a working relationship with them. The important thing is, is to remember their value as a client, remember your value that you're providing, and to be flexible. Okay? Payment processors, it's, all, it's ultimately up to you. You have Google Checkout, Plymus, P-L-I-M-U-S. And uh, and PayPal are the three that I would look at initially. But you can you can uh, you know there's enough courses and things out there, material that you can review to pick the proper payment processes.